When you come to Philadelphia, there are so many beautiful and historic sacred sites to see. You'll be amazed by their diversity and symbolism. The Chapel of Divine Love in the Fairmount area is the perfect place for peaceful reflection on God's love and mercy. Suburban Station is a great place to explore for some of the many foods for which Philadelphia is famous. As a special treat for the world meeting of families, Philly Pretzel Factory has created the Knot Pretzel. In honor of the Marian devotion that's close to Pope Francis's heart, Mary, undoer of knots. Catholics pray a novena, or a nine-day prayer, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, asking her to undo the many knots that are in our lives. I like mine with cheese. Take the 33 or 48 bus, or BSL, to Spring Garden, then walk a few blocks west, where, at the corner of Green and 22nd Street, in the same city where the Declaration of Independence was created and signed, is a small, unassuming convent that houses some of the most beautiful things in the entire world. Here, a small group of women have made the countercultural decision to live quietly and simply, closing the door to the lives they could have had for a cloistered, contemplative life. Sound like an escape? It's anything but. And the best part about it? We can come here and visit and share in their joy. Oh, hello there. How are you today? Here in this small chapel and in the convent next door, the Holy Spirit Adoration Sisters, in their distinctively rose-colored habits that gained them the nickname the Pink Sisters, dedicate their lives to prayer and perpetual adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Founded in Style, Holland, in 1896 by St. Arnold Jansen and Mother Mary Michael, the Sister Servants of the Holy Spirit of Perpetual Adoration came to Philadelphia in 1915 at the invitation of Archbishop Edmund Prendergast, who had long wanted to establish a place of perpetual adoration in the archdiocese. Because Catholics believe that at consecration, the host or communion wafer actually becomes the body of Christ, we render adoration to it when it's placed in a monstrance, which is the gold and jewel-encrusted vessel that's on the altar. We basically get to sit with Jesus whenever we want. The Chapel of Divine Love is the heart of this community. Here, the sisters come, one at a time, at every hour of the day and night, to pray for the sanctification of priests, for evangelization, and for all of the prayers that are brought to them. One of the monstrances that the sisters use is particularly special because it was designed and donated to them by St. Catherine Drexel herself. Mother Catherine adorned the monstrance with jewels and precious metals from her life before she became a nun and founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament in the suburb of Ben Salem. Mother Catherine considered this gift a symbol of the gift of herself that she gave to the King of Kings. Eight times a day, the sisters are called to the chapel where, behind the grill, a symbol of the secluded life they've chosen to live, they celebrate the Holy Mass and pray the Liturgy of the Hours in choir. Also known as the Divine Office, this is the daily prayer of the Church, marking the hours of the day, offering praise to God, and interceding for the salvation of the world. Their rose-colored habits are a cheerful witness to their vocation to love and a symbol of their joy and dedication to the Holy Spirit. When they profess their final vows, the sisters receive a ring, emblematic of their vocations as brides of Christ. The Holy Spirit sisters continue to welcome new vocations. What better place to discern a vocation than in the presence of and in conversation with God? The year 2015 marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of this convent, and the sisters have set up a centenary room in which you can see old photos of the sisters and learn about their history. The next time you're in Philadelphia, come to this quiet place, set apart from the world, where in the silence and rosy glow, God calls you to closeness and peace. If you're looking for a bite to eat after spending all day with the Pink Sisters, OCF Coffee just a few blocks away and across the street from Eastern State Penitentiary has brunch all day, baked goods, yummy cookies, and some great coffee. Check out all of our videos to explore the exciting history of Catholicism in Philadelphia. I'm Diana Von Glan, the Faithful Traveler. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all of our sponsors.